Crusaders wear blue, Central Fellowship here on its home court in white. Their jerseys with Lancers, the mascot, spelled out in an arch right across the chest plate. Ready to go from Macon, Georgia, 6th AA Championship. Trinity go two for two. Going to have a tough time. Tip near side, won by the Lancers. And Jalen Goodrum takes the first touch. Feeds Demery in the left corner, lifts up a three. That short, Stella there for a left-hand board in the short corner. And Central reset. George matches on to Demery. Williams is on walls. He gets it right side, drills to the left, hands off Nelson. Three from the corner, misses long. Trinity board George and the Crusaders get their first possession 30 seconds into the ball game. George starts it on the left side, guarded by Stella. Long, lanky junior. Bluffs the pass right, gets it off on an arc to AFW. Brings that in, goes to Coleman right corner, drives in, 16 footer, buries it. And Trinity draws first blood. Took about four minutes to get some points back last Friday, so that is a good start. And Lancer is averaging 75 points per game this season, 45 allowed, a plus 30 differential on opponents this year. Flash walls up high. Williams runs through that screen. Man open back left. That's Nelson. Shifted to him. And there he is. Driver on the left side attack and ties it at 2 2. Nelson, a freshman at 6 foot 2, with 13 points and 7 rebounds in the first meeting, only 4 and 8 in the second last Friday. Lob to the short corner. Clay the catch for Trinity. Backing out to the corner. Return it high. AFW handoff screen for George. Drills his way to the left corner. And Coleman's pass stabbed away by Goodrow. Williams goes in behind him, tries to block the shot, and gets a hold of him on the right shoulder, and will be charged with an early foul. His first and Trinity's first. Going to the line. JG five. One of those that kind of can't afford, not just for the fact that he gets a chance to turn it into a three-point play, but because you only get five of those, and Williams, one of the best defenders, is not somebody who won't having to play with the hand tied behind his back. Goodrum's free throw, an and one, is coming up. Actually, he didn't make the shot there, so this is two shots. Misses the first, and the second one goes us out for the near side rebound to play. So Trinity escapes that one unscathed on the scoreboard. 2-2 the count. George advances middle and slowly sets things up on the right. Feed Clay, top of the key. Tries to throw it down to AFW, ripped away from him on the double team by CFCA's Dimmer. Back other end, crosses over left wing. Dishes it out from the cutting Stella in the traffic, trapped between bigs, and moves his pivot foot. Travel gives it back to Trinity at 558 in the first. 2-2 Two -two score. Inbound for the Crusaders, no pressure for CFCA, except for the fact that they put Goodrum right on the chest of Williams, and he doesn't leave as Williams threads through about three screens down low. Hand off from George near wing. Go over left to Coleman, feeds AFW, tries to back his way in for the sideways shot, and instead gives it out to George for the three. Right winger misses. Second try, AFW. Able to force that one in there and draws a foul. Spins his way out to the foul line with a right hand flex. And Trinity takes a 4-2 lead. And one coming up. Foul on Central Fellowship's Devin Nelson, his first. And the team's first. AFW, angular stance, shot up there and misses long. And the board is wolfed away from Trinity's play by CFCA's Stella. Nothing there for the Lancers as they try the left corner. Demery gives it up. They come to the All-State man, Jeb Walls. And he gathers one up, fires a reeling three and misses short. Williams brings down the Trinity board, up top and takes it to the hole. Able to keep it away from Nelson and lay it in with the right hand. Crusaders on top, 6-2. to two. And this is getting more and more surprising by the minute. Five-minute mark, Goodrum isolated. Coleman top for CFCA, dribbles left, stops, right foot pivot, spins his way inside on the three, and scores with the right hand. Athletic play for the first points of the night by the FPD transfer. And the Trinity lead down to two at 6-4. Goodrum, their leading scorer, an average of 19 per game and about four steals. That's the team high as well. Crusaders try both posts. Volley it right and get it back outside to George. Slithers his way in. 
And finds a left-hand window to shoot and gets the popcorn shot. Two head in the bucket, 8-4 Trinity. And Central Fellowship tries to gain its offensive footing on the post feed for Walls. Rotated outside, Demery shot all mine and it's short on the left wing. Trinity 8, Central 7. Four minute mark in the first quarter. Coleman and George get it out of the backcourt for the Crusaders. Demery latches on to Coleman. Long pass right corner. George lifts it in. Right block AFW, attacks between defenders. And just Moses is way on in there for the facing shot. That makes its way in. 10 7 Trinity. Skip underneath, open Stella. And he put one in there before Clay can collapse back down there on him. Trinity 10, Central Fellowship 9. And four out of five starters, everybody except for Walls, where CFCA has a bucket. Trinity sprays Williams, left wing. Tried to move down low, but called for a travel. And with 3.28 left, it is a Central Fellowship basketball. We will get a short pause as official right in front of the sideline here. Has to tie the right shoe. Laces came undone. Gets that fixed up in a good double knot, and we are ready to get the action restarted. Three and a half, first quarter. 10-9 lead for Trinity. On top the whole way. Except for a couple of CFCA ties. Ball to the left side. Goodrum around the screen top. Slides his way in. Fires out right. Nelson the catch. Base falls it back left. Catch in the corner and a travel on Goodrum. Headed down the left baseline. Moved the multicolored shoes a little too early before he got the dribble down. 3.07 left, George and Williams walk it out for the Crusaders. George, right hand dribble, points with his left hand as he shouts some instructions. Screen of Goodrum, they got rid of him. Falling shot for Williams, 10 footer on the right side, bottoms. Trinity 12, Central Fellowship 9, Crusaders have started strong here in Macon. It is Demery on the isolation right side. Cut off by Clay, slides the pivot foot in the lane, and it's another travel. That puts it back in the hands of Trinity. Back to back walks for the Lancers. Jeb Walls threw the hands out wide on a shrug of the shoulders there, saying he didn't understand the call. 2.30 left, and an unsuspecting play has it taken away by Goodrum. He gets a cheap one on the way to the basket and makes it a one-point game. 12-11, Trinity nearly throws it away on the other end. But gets an open George, deep three, left wing, horseshoes out. George runs down his board, top left. Crusaders left corner, Williams three, on target! 14-11, 15-11. A four-point Trinity edge at the two-minute mark. Crusaders set up man-to-man -man defensively. Ball goes to Goodrum. On the CFCA possession right, Coleman guards him. They get Nelson loose on a low screen, and he loses the ball. Trinity to the basket. Reverse Coleman rattles it home with the right hand. And it's a six-point Trinity lead, 17-11. 138 to go in the first. Central Fellowship is not sure what is going on right now. Drive from Zimmery, leaping AFW. He blocks the shot. Uh, comes back down on him and is called for a Trinity foul. That'll be the team's second. And uh, AFW's first. Going to the line. Demery. Send Demery to the line. Freshman for CFCA. A 78% foul shooter. The whole team, pretty much the starting lineup up there in at least the 60s. And his first one rattles in to make it 17 12. As a team, 64% at the line. And Emory switches the second one. Get the ball game, and the Lancers take a timeout, trying to get things regrouped down four. Trinity has not trailed yet. Been tied a couple of times, but otherwise led most of the way through the first 92 seconds. At Dublin Chevy GMC, we have shipments arriving daily. Whether it's Silverados, Yukons, or Tahoes, we have the ride for you. As a matter of fact, I'm doing everything I can to get the trucks ready for you. Whether it's a Blazer or a Terrain or any other crossover, we have the Chevy or GMC for you. And with rates as low as 2.99 on new Silverados, there's never a better time to buy. And remember, Don sells cars well only at Dublin Chevrolet.
call Mr. Appliance for our speedy expert service. Or your appliance is not performing correctly, call 309-5960. Mr. Appliance of Dublin is your go-to company for dependable quality appliance service. Our experts are committed to delivering exceptional results in a timely manner, whether you need repairs, replacement parts, or general maintenance. Technicians are available on your schedule and always provide courteous, respectful, and quality work every time. Our technicians always explain and ensure understanding so you'll never encounter surprise fees. Trust Mr. Appliance for residential and commercial repair, service, and maintenance. Call 309-5960. That's 309-5960. 309-5960. Serving Dublin and the surrounding area, Mr. Appliance and Speedy Expert Service, a locally owned and operated franchise. Only a 30 second timeout. The Trinity offense this year, 64 points per game, 54 allowed. And one place the Crusaders do have a big edge in this contest is rebounds, Crusader statistically basketball. anyway. About 39 per game against only 24 for Central Fellowship. Crusaders, however, did not win the rebound battle the first time around, 41-25. They did the second, count of 40-31. to 122 left to go in the quarter. As the Crusaders return the ball to play, it's George left wing, drive, contested shot, misses right, but he aggressively goes back and get his board and then stumbles and loses it in the near corner. Wall the deep pass, tries to find his brother Knox Walls in the left corner, and he caught it out of bounds, turned the ball. 107 in the first, Trinity 17, Central Fellowship 13. Knox Walls into the ball game on the CFCA sub, a junior, six footer, and a 34% three, three point shooter. One minute remaining. Seven on the team who are above that mark for the Lancers. Williams for Trinity, right wing, gets off George in the corner, skips it low. Coleman attacks the bucket, waves the shot off to travel. Back it in there. First Trinity sub of the night brings on the sophomore Ben Castro Paveda. Big game for him versus Windsor last night. Ten points. Two for four from deep. He had three rebounds as well. 46 seconds to go in the first. Trinity by four. Skip right for Goodrum. AFW in his face. No shot. 1-3-1 one, one zone for the Crusaders. Knox Walls to Jeb, right side, 19 to shoot, 32 on the game. Left winger, Goodrum, sends it up and hands it. And tips the hat to some fans in the front row on his way back down. 17-16 Trinity. Screen Goodrum off again, Williams, left corner on Stella, puts one up over his outstretched arms and leaves it short. About an 18-footer, nine to go. Central Fellowship will play for the last shot. It's a Walls three. It's in and out from the left wing. Board saved on the baseline. Goodrum, one to go. Corner three, Nelson. This is back iron, and Trinity takes the lead into the second half. Great scores. start for the Crusaders. For the first time in the series all season, they are not blown away in the first quarter. And are just a point in front as we head to the second. Calls for these words. Allen's Heating and Cooling is your licensed Amata equipment dealer. Trust Allen's Heating and Cooling to install and service your heating and cooling unit. Allen services all brands and with the purchase of a new Amata, offers a lifetime compressor warranty. Call Sean Clark or any of his friendly staff at Allen's Heating and Cooling. Your Amata dealer. Amata lasts and lasts and lasts. You've dreamed about the perfect house, a place to call your own and a place to not only stretch out, but to grow. Auto Owners protects your house because to you, it's home. That's simple human sense. Ask Curry Maffet Insurance in Dublin if Auto Owners make sense for you. Happy to help, man. I was just over there talking to myself anyway. One in the books, it's Trinity 17, Central Fellowship 16. Surprising start for the Crusaders. They control this one slightly and start with the basketball, looking to continue some confident play as we begin the second. 
A lot of chatter during the quarter break there. Not sure what the issue was about, but had some refs and coaches jawing just a little bit. Trinity opens with the lineup of George Williams, Clay, AFW, and CP. And the Crusaders hand it off on the left wing. George to Williams. Circles to the near side, and Goodman steals away from him. Back to the bucket, Williams tries to block his shot again and will commit a second foul. That's the second time he has challenged one of those and gotten the whistle blown. His second, team's first. I guess if you stay on the pace of one per quarter, then you're okay in the long run, but just makes you a little uneasy getting too called on that kind of play here this early in the ball game. Goodrum to the line for CFCA. He can tie it on this first one. 17-16 lead for the Crusaders. Squats low and fires the first one. And then shushes the Trinity cheer section here on the side of the gym. Getting into it a little bit, 17 apiece. Goodrum's a 59% foul shooter. A change of shoes for him, a different looking set of kicks. This time out from Friday night in the first meeting. And he sinks the second as well to put Central Fellowship in its first lead, 18-17. 30 seconds in, Trinity gets the basketball back. George works on Knox Walls, drives down to the right short corner, lowered his shoulder. And a blocking foul is called on Central Fellowship. Foul on Walls. Knox Walls, his first, team's first. And it's a Trinity ball, George from the baseline. Right side, Skips Coleman, back side. Ball sprays out of his hands, and Goodman comes up with it for CFCA. Lays the game to the basket. Nobody can catch him. Right hander good, and it's Central Fellowship 20. Trinity 17. Knox Walls got caught in another situation on the inbound. And hit with another CFCA foul, his second, and the team's second of the quarter. Not sure what exactly happened there, but he got tangled up with the Trinity player as Coleman was trying to get it into George. And Stella comes back right quickly on the Lancer substitution. Their starting five is back fully intact. About a minute into the third, excuse me, the second, it is a three-point Central Fellowship lead. Crusaders post up play right side. Goes right and left on the dribble with his back to the basket and a shove from behind on Walls. Gets another Central Fellowship whistle. His first and the team's third. 7.05 left before halftime, and Trinity inbounds to AFW. Left foot pivot in the corner, drives his way in on Nelson. Two out of control, lost the ball, and also, well, no, there's no foul on top of that. He just lost it. It is going to be called a charge. I stand corrected there. So AFW picks up his first and Trinity's second. Three-point deficit here in quarter two. Then CP, the lead defender, he'll match up on Walls, who brings the ball over the middle for Central Fellowship. Williams, a short blow on the bench. He's ready to check back in. Dish it underneath Stella, outside Nelson. Screen of Anthony Frank Woji. Drives inside, can't finish on the right-hander. Clay brings down the two-handed board in the middle for Trinity. Out with George, and Trinity again stops on the brakes to slow the tempo down. John Williams mentioned that as a big key early. Trying to slow ourselves down so we can slow them down. A screen handoff, play to George, lifts three, misses right, and Demery comes up with the CFCA board. Loses ball up top, George nice his way in there and grabs it for Trinity on the dive to midcourt. Back into the backcourt, Crusaders were a little confused, and John Williams fails him out with a timeout with 6 14 to go. No points in. Two minutes of action here in the second, and the drought goes even longer when you take it into the first. So Trinity needs to get something to reestablish some offensive momentum after leading most of the first. Hi, I'm Mark Tarpley, Cover Supply and Engine Service. Bad Boy Tractors. We're building on the legacy of Bad Boy Brand, introducing a brand new line of small, medium-sized tractors that maintain our history of combining power, performance, and built quality while delivering highest value in their class. With a tractor size to fit any farm or property from landscapers to ranchers, Bad Boy Tractors are positioned to big workhorses in the field, coupled with our line of Bad Boy implements, cutters, you are all set to make your workday feel less of a chore. Come visit us at Cullen's Engine Supply, 910 East Jackson Street in Dublin, 826 South Harris Street in Sandersville. 
With a history of over 100 years, Farmer State Bank has built our reputation on neighbors helping neighbors. We faced our trials together and we're celebrating our accomplishments today. The future is bright, so hold fast to your dreams and join us in looking ahead. We are Farmer State Bank, member FDIC and an equal housing lender. Farmer State Bank, banking is as easy as FSB. Well, answers do not look comfortable one bit yet. Now, that can change on a dime, and they'll knock down three threes in a row, and next thing you know, this is a double-digit game. But for now, Trinity d up pretty hard. And putting this thing within striking distance and in winnable territory here early. 6-14, second. Inbound for Coleman to George, skips it backcourt. And then George brings it over from left to right. 11 points per game for him. Team lead of two steals per contest. Thanks to the right wing. With six minutes left, hands off Coleman. Trinity runs the handoffs around the high screen from Clay. George back left as Clay dives down, gets in the ball on the skip. Good patience. And and sticks it in there with the left hander. 20 to 19 Central Fellowship. Trinity within one. Goodrum for CFCA. Right foot pivot, throws left to Nelson. Drives out of the corner, around the screen, and Clay cannot keep up with him. Nelson. Scores on the right, hander on the back side of the basket. And the lead back to three for Central, 22-19. Trinity's George, left wing. Screen from Clay, drives right. Clay stays up top, George down to the short corner. Pops it back to him on the cut, but Wall's there for the deflection. CFCA comes up with the loose ball in the middle, and Stella is fouled from behind by George. George pushes his first and the team's third. And it's a central fellowship ball. Three-point lead for the Lancers with 5.15 to go. Eight wins in a row for them. Just once beaten on the season. That was North Florida Christian that came in here and handed it to them on a little bit of an off Saturday back in January. Demery lifts a three, near side misses. Walls rebound underneath. Trinity doesn't let him go anywhere. Tries to get it outside to Nelson. Put back try, no, he gets his own re and takes it to the corner. Drives in, Euro moves to find a window and finishes with the left hand. Biggest lead of the night for Central Fellowship, 24-19. Under five to play in the first half. Trinity with only two points to CFCA six. Excuse me, CFCA's eight so far in quarter two. And they have stiffened up the man-to-man -man D just a touch here. Crusaders out of that open set. Lob it down for George. Gives back middle to play, and it's taken from his hands by Goodwin. Pride loose by Coleman. He wants that one to have been knocked out of bounds by Goodwin. Might have had a case there, but refs say it is a CFCA ball. 4-18 left. Nelson looks. And fires high for Goodrum, catch and shoot from 23, and he switches it. Nine, nine, two, three, GG five. Goodrum's second triple of the night gives him 11, and the Central Fellowship lead is 8, 27 19. More slow tempo for Trinity. Pin down for Williams, left side. Zigzag back to the top, but Goodrum stays with him. Loses the dribble near side, tripped up by Goodrum. Lost it out of bounds. And it is Trinity's basketball. Stumbled over Goodrum, trying to get to that loose ball. And CFCA the last to touch it here on the near sideline. Ref has another untied shoe back in front of the CFCA bench. Our officials in gray pinstripes tonight, black pants. And our lead ref calls in both coaches for a quick sidebar asking counsel to approach the bench here for a short word. No telling just what, although I know this ref, see him a lot at games in Dublin, is one who knows both these coaches pretty well, based out of this Macon Area Officials Association. He's gonna grab a hold of both the captains, Trinity's Jim Coleman and Perez Dimery of CFCA and offer a short word before we return to play with 3.51 left to go before halftime. Probably just a little 
the encouragement to keep the tempers down and avoid letting frustrations boil over here. Skip to the backside play. Shot clock ran out on the Crusaders. CFCA ball with an eight-point lead. John Williams wanted it to reset. Thought it should have been 25. After that play out of bounds, and comes all the way over here under the Central Fellowship basket to plead his case, but that same ref, the crew chief, hands down a ruling in the negative there. 333, Central Fellowship starts with Wall's right, right wing. And off to Goodrum, swing at left corner for Nelson. The freshman, and a good looking freshman at that. Sends back to the top, Goodrum is senior with a screen from Stella. Backs up, fires to Demery. He's also a freshman, drives in there and connects on the right hand runner. 10 point lead, Central 29 19, and this one is in danger of getting out of hand if Trinity can't find some buckets. Three minute mark before halftime. Got to close this one strong after a hot start. George, wrong way around the screen, left and finish with the runner at the basket. Jeb Wall's rebound for CFCA. Brings it near side, skips middle, Stella, short attack. Into the corner, Demery, three up, draws iron front side, aggressive board CP, got a hold of it and scored the jump ball, but it's CFCA's possession arrow. And the Lancers will keep control with 2.39 to go. CP heads to the Trinity bench and Anthony Frank Woji subs back for the Crusaders. John Williams hands on knees from the Trinity sideline as he stoops over to view the play. A lob in, catch and shoot for Goodrum, and GG just softly touches that one in with the left hand. 31-19, and if you weren't with us for the first two, that is just another in the number of ridiculously athletic plays he's going to make on a game-to-game -game basis. Trinity avoids a backcourt violation as George chases the loose one down up at the top. Ball goes to Coleman Wright. He drives, pulls up, and gets one to crawl in on the mid-range jumper. Back to a 10-point game, 31-21. Coleman with six on the afternoon. Two minutes to go. Central Fellowship, Demery. Left side screen on the pick and roll. Stella kicks left corner. Nelson lets it fly from three, and the rebound rolls into the hands of Trinity's Coleman. Off the tip of Stella. Hands on the outlet, Williams, rumbling far side, gets the shot up, misses it, AFW board. Two chances on the backside collection, and he draws the foul on the second one with the punch back in. And a chance at the three-point play for AFW. As he gets Trinity within eight. Score 31-23, foul is on Jeb Walls, his second, and the team's fourth. Anthony Frank Woji. Heads to the foul line for Trinity, 40% foul shooter. 0 for 2 on his first tonight. And the front end of this one and one misses, but Hayden Clay, or excuse me, the end one misses, but Hayden Clay grabs the board. And Trinity converts it. George near side three. Switches it from the right wing, and it's 31-26. Five-point contest. 123 to go before the half. Drive Nelson for CFCA. Shot to the backside, nothing there for Stella. Good close defensively by Clay to cover up his window. Left corner, Trinity. Coleman mid-range, no. Off the back of the iron and Walls with the rebound. Two people away from Clay. Central Fellowship left, Stella open, lifts three, and swishes it. 56 to go in the quarter, and it's CFCA 34, Trinity 26. Judson Walls, the third brother of the Central Fellowship Trio waiting to check in. AFW back to throw to the left block. And bowls over Stella. Will be called for a charge, his second. And the team fourth. We might have a technical foul here as well. Let's see who won. Potentially on Trinity. Let's see what we got. Something that was said. Ref explaining himself to the entire Trinity lineup over on the far side and some pointing fingers towards Central Fellowship. The ref's conference in front of the table. And the ruling will 
from the looks of it stay the same. So Central Fellowships going to shoot some free throws here with 44 seconds to go. And Jeb Walls will shoot him. 34-26 Central. They have retaken control after Trinity opened a lead as big as six in the first quarter. Walls all by himself. Knocks down his first. No buckets from the field yet tonight. And can make it 10 with the second one. Arcs it in there, 36-26. For the senior and co-AA football player of the year in the GIAA. Ben Castro Paveda back in for Trinity. It's Judson Walls for Central Fellowship. Six foot freshman. Inbounds to Nelson. And gets it back on the left wing. Reception drives middle. And this is out right to Nelson. Out to Demery on the kick. He drives middle. Dumps it left side. Cut for Nelson. Trinity defenders all over him. Blocked the first shot. Demery a second try. That one. Knocked loose by Clay and recovered by George. Trinity lobs ahead, left corner, cross it to Williams, right corner of three, way off target. And the backside board by Central's Perez Demery. Up with 13 seconds to go before halftime. 10 point lead, drive Judson Walls, another one blocked from his right. Trinity with six, shoots it ahead, George, open three, gotta get this one. There it is. Huge triple headed into halftime for Will George. I'm Brian Baysmore, President and CEO of Community Bank of Dublin Lawrence County. We would like to invite you to come by and experience a welcoming banking environment. Come by today and have a cup of coffee and let us talk with you about our many products, savings accounts, checking accounts, CDs, and our many loans. You're more than just a number to us, you're family. Come by today, Community Bank of Dublin Lawrence County, member FDIC and equal housing lender. Hi, I'm uh, Dr. Dustin Gay. I'm a local orthopedic surgeon with Houston Clinic Orthopedics, and we'd really like to invite everybody to come out to our new uh, office facility to take a look at it. It's a larger space with physical therapy, and uh, we're just excited to have it, and we'd love for people to come out and visit us. Come by and see us today at our brand new location, the Houston Clinic Medical Drive in Dublin. Starting the third quarter here from Macon, Region 6 AA Championship game, Trinity trailing Central Fellowship 36-29. Lineup features the starters for both teams. Hayden Clay, Anthony Frank, Woji, Jim Coleman, Will George, and Henry Williams for Trinity. And Jeb Walls, Perez Demery, Jalen Goodrum, Tanya Stella, and Devin Nelson for the Lancers. Crusaders open with the ball. Go to Williams on the right wing. And off nearly lost as Goodwin tries to stab his way in there against George. Get it out cleanly. George drives, skips it in reverse. Play to catch. Floating shot middle and it's the five point game. Sunk that one from straight away. 36-31. Quick tempo for the Lancers. They go to the far corner. Come outside to Demery. Drives up the gut. And cannot get the lefty to spin in. Hung up there on the heel of the basket, spun off to the far side, and Trinity got the board. It was knocked out of the hands of Anthony Frank Woji, but out of bounds off of CFCA. Trinity basketball, Crusaders inbound with 7-12 to go. Third quarter action, Jim Coleman runs point. High floating pass down to the left side for AFW. Some miscommunication, and that one off target out of bounds. Central basketball, Demery and Walls, the All-State footballer, AA Player of the Year, shared those honors with Goodrum, who sets up on the left wing. Walls drives his way in with his back to the basket and hits the step back, fall away. And Central Fellowship leads at 38-31. Walls only four so far. Under seven to play. Williams, a stop and go cut inside. They try to pin down Goodrum, but not successful. Get it to Coleman up at the free throw line, jump and misses left. Goodrum rebound CFCA, shoots a laser beam to the left corner. Open Stella, three in the air, misses short. Run down for CFCA, left side by Nelson. Back in the middle, open Goodrum straight away, three bricks long. 
Fight for the board up top left. Stella tries to keep it away and secures it for Nelson on the handoff left. Trav and gives it back to the Crusaders. He was able to bank in the basket, but they disallow it. And the score stays Central Fellowship 38, Trinity 31. They're early in the third. Trinity subs in Ben Castro Paveda. Will George advances the basketball from right to left. Floats the pass top. Play. Lobs it down. AFW. Hit in the lane. On the left eye, it looked like. As he grabs at the forehead. And the CSCA foul goes on Goodrum. And it's his first and the team's first. Trinity tries to thread it in for AFW. Goodrum right there for the tip out of bounds. Far corner. And we'll do it again with 558. Williams plays it into George. Far corner. Crusaders are down seven. Shift it to the near side. Williams to George. Running three. Flats that one long, and Goodrum comes up with the board for CFCA far side. Left wing, he's cut off. Gives to Walls. Crosses right. Nelson the drive. Travel on CFCA. Crusaders take back control with 538. Trailing 38-31, hanging in this thing. John Williams with cut hands, shouts in some instructions from the Trinity sideline. Gray quarters it, pull over for him tonight. Pass nearly stolen from CP, right side gets it back from Nelson. Hand off Williams, right wing, bump as he gives it back, CP3, right corner, and misses short. And kicks out of bounds, far side. Two central fellowship, right into the Trinity bench. Coleman back in for CP, 516 in the third. Central 38, Trinity 31. Walls and Goodrum work it up. Walls a 2,000 point score. And Goodrum with the different color tie-dyed shoes tonight. Neon green and pink look on the combo with some black in there, kind of a camo pattern for him. Ball comes to Walls right side, falling three from 24, misses long. Run down for the CFCA board, Demery, far corner. Dishes it right, Stella to catch. AFW right there. Skip inside, and it is dribbled off the shoelace of Demery. AFW punched it off his shoe. Looks like he was the last to touch it, out of bounds to CFCA. 4.45 left. Shoot it into Demery, the freshman. 56% field ball shooter. And team best 49% from three. And off right wing, Demery lifts it. From the wing, triple no, but a punch back on the left for Jeb Walls. And it is 40 to 31. Trinity drive by Williams. Can't finish on the right hand scoop. And the board is taken down for CFCA on the right side by Nelson. 4.13 left, Lancers find an open Demery. Three from the wing is good. 43-31. Central's lead 12 with four to go here in quarter three. Chance of defense. They end abruptly on the far side of the gym from their cheer section. Pretty lobs block, right side AFW. Spins clockwise and hit. As he turns toward the basket by Demery. Central Fellowship foul is his first. And the Lancers second. Trinity inbound, baseline, Williams. Looks to throw it in, propels it to the top. George the catch on Stella. Bluff the handoff, go left. Stella shadows, handoff AFW, left block, and it is stripped away from him by Nelson. CFCA out, it's into the backcourt, and Demery advances it left to right, stops right wing, skips Stella, high on the left. They bungle the screen and roll and shoot it left for Goodrum. A rare miss for him as that one glances off his fingertips and goes out of bounds. Trinity ball with 325 left, but it's a 12-point deficit. Confusion on the Lancer sideline. Might be some moisture on the court or some blood, one. 
They check on a suspected red spot. See nothing there. And we will resume play. 325 left in the third. Central Fellowship 43, Trinity 31. George the ball hammer. Screen from Clay. Heads right on it. Sets one for Henry coming back to the middle. Stops left elbow. Puts up the jumper to Saw. And the rebound stolen away by CFCA Stella. An acrobatic try for Goodrum in transition. This is the falling try from the right, but a foul on Demery, who tries to follow it. They count that one. George, the Trinity foul, is his second. And Demery, who gets his 11th and 12th points of the night on that of the night on that bucket, will go to the line for a chance to put Central Fellowship up by 15. New score is 45-31. Freshman guard with the low top shoes. Multicolor with about everyone on the pallet, like Goodrum. Sinks the free throw. And Trinity trails 15, 46 31. Williams isolation on Goodrum. Goodrum leans in. Williams a running shot from the right elbow. Air ball is underneath. Rebound Demery and her CFCA. Out of transition. No three for Stella, right wing. Hands it back off, Demery. Shuffles to the right wing as played defense. Man-to-man -man D for Trinity. Coleman follows Goodrum. Left side feeds Stella. And they dish it for Goodrum. Left corner three is partially blocked. Coleman got a hand on it. AFW the board, hand off Williams. As Trinity advances it near sideline. Over to George, got Coleman. Jacks the three, and this is short. Rebound CFCA by Demery. Two minutes to go. Third quarter action. We Demery a Euro in the middle. Shifts it over to the left hand for the finish. And Central Fellowship moves to 38 31. Mighty got the technical foul as both teams cross paths on their way to the bench. Central is hit with that one. Jim Coleman called for one earlier. And it's next curricular stuff for Trinity. All right, boys, if you want to go to college, you have to clear out another one of these. What if we told you there was a better way to save for your kid's college than pickle jars? Morris Bank's Savings Builder account and Moolah makes saving for your kid's college easier than ever. All you have to do is connect the account to your debit card, where it automatically rounds up your purchases to the nearest dollar, depositing that spare change into a Moolah account, where it will grow into a nice little nest egg for whatever your kids have their sights set on. Wayne Kemp's Dublin Auto Sales reminds you to put your tax return to work today. If you're in the market for affordable transportation, come on down and see Wayne Kemp at Dublin Auto Sales. Getting to work, school, or around town every day requires dependable transportation, and that's what you'll find at Wayne Kemp's Dublin Auto Sales. So put that tax return to work for you this year. We offer bank rate and in-house financing, so credit is never a problem. Come in today and see TJ, Trey, Alan, Britt, or any of the friendly staff at Wayne Kemp's Dublin Auto Sales, where good deals and good people meet. Call 478-275-2010, log on to DublinAutoSalesGA.com, or stop by and see us at 606 East Jackson Street in Dublin. That's Wayne Kemp's Dublin Auto Sales. Two ten to go here in the third, and Trinity steps to 17. We'll get Demery. 15 points. After that, make on the drive to the basket. And so the technical explained to everybody, and now the team start their official timeout clock. And Trinity has not shot the ball quite as well as it did in the first half. Made about four threes. The triples have been fewer and further between in the latter part of this ball game. But the shooting percentage has been better for Trinity. Punched up the numbers, and of course, Central Fellowship shot way better in aggregate in both the regular season games. 46% to 35 from the field in the last one we played, and then 50 to 33 in the first. And in the second one, 34 to 23. 
shooting three ball, 47-13 in the first one. They made a combined 18, Trinity made only seven. And it just seems like the main issue is shooting over all these big, long defenders. And they've got several guys who are six feet in that starting lineup, pretty much everybody but Goodwin. And that cuts down on the percentage of your shots for sure. Trinity's best, Henry Williams, 30% from the field, 19% from three against Central in two regular season games. Henry steps to the line here for the first of two technical free throws and leads the first one short. George, 25% from the field, 22% from three in those regular season contests. Second one rattles home for Williams, and it's a 48-32 Central Fellowship lead with 2.10 to go in quarter three. Lancers press up hard here on the Trinity inbound. George and Williams. It is into Clay. Pass to the left-hand side. The Crusaders hand it off a few times and then get picked from the pocket of Williams. Goodrum trying to move left. He is blocked by Williams. Trinity foul will be his third. And the team's second. Central Fellowship inbound from the baseline. Heavy Trinity pressure. Lob it in middle. Nelson the catch. And with two to go, Goodrum brings it over as Trinity retreats. 16-point lead. The stop at the top left for Goodrum. Kicks it over to the right wing. The three from the corner by Nelson draws iron, but Stella the board on the back side. Demery gets hold of it on the left wing, and an off-ball foul called on Jeb Walls. Stella. Beg your pardon, that's going to be on Stella, his first, team's third. That'll actually be the team's fourth as well. 16-point deficit. Trinity's got to get to work. 135 to go in the third. In this region's six AA championship game. Hand off right elbow. Play to George. Three from the top. Got it. Just what the Crusaders needed. 48-35. The central lead. And Walls brings it up left to right for the Lancers. Contested shot for Stella on the back side. Gets it in over Anthony Frank Woji. And makes it 50 to 35. CFCA in front. Trinity skips to the right side. George around Clay on the pick and roll. Sends up the two from 18 and misses short. Jeb Walls board for Central. Under a minute left in the third. Crosses over on Williams. He grabs at the ball, and he's going to get hit with a fourth foul. Second in a row in Trinity's third team. And Henry Williams has to go to the bench. And see he all to take his place. That is the Crusaders' leading scorer with 21 points per game. Best guy in assists as well with four per contest on the season. Central's ball, they lob it in. And last night, huge game in every respect, leading the scorer and rebounder, 24 and 9. Walls a step back three from the right wing. CP almost bulldozed him on the closeout. He wanted a foul. Misses it long. Central rebound near corner. It is popped from the hands of Demery by CP. And the Lancers feed it in to the running Goodrum. Sails to the rack. Blocked from the right hand side by AFW. Somebody's going to be charged with a foul there. Another defender was also helping out underneath. Foul and the refs going to the line. will call it on Clay. His second team's fourth. And two shots here for the 5'10 senior Jalen Goodrum. Led the scoring in the second regular season meeting. Hits the first of the two foul shots here to make it 51-35. 27 points, eight rebounds, six assists last Friday night. And the first one only 17. The top number belonged to Jeb Walls with 18. And he is good on both. A season-long 59% free throw shooter. And with 30 seconds to go in the quarter, Trinity trails 52-35. They can roll right side and it's intercepted by Jeb Walls. The senior motors to the left for CFCA, floating scoop shot as AFW intercepts in midair. And he'll be charged for the foul. Foul on Frank Wojcik, going to the line. His third, 
And the team's fifth. Walls will shoot two more. And the next one puts Trinity in the penalty. Three dribbles for Walls. Catapults the first one up there and it climbs in. Central Fellowship slowly pulling away and this one scores 53-35. Walls, the All-State man, best free throw shooter on the team at 81%, and lives up to it on this visit to the strike, 54-35, as the second one swishes home. Possibly the last possession for Trinity, barring a steal. George floats one right for the cutting play, and it is stolen away again. Walls, the rip away. Central Fellowship left corner with two to go. Stella lifts up a three at the horn, misses it short. And that is the end of three. Trinity is held to only six points. Three quarters. Trinity Christian. In this eight minutes of basketball, Central, Central Fellowship, Fellowship puts the clamps down on D, and they are in control of this one, headed to the fourth as we pause for these words. At Central Georgia Primary Care, we are dedicated to improving your health and quality of life throughout Lawrence County with state-of-the-art facilities. We are your one-stop shop for all things health care, and there's a location near you no matter where you live. Central Georgia Primary Care is located at 406 Central Drive in East Dublin and just off Hillcrest at 101 Mercer Drive and in Dublin at 230 Industrial Boulevard, north, south, east, or west. There's a Central Georgia Primary Care centrally located near you. Hometown Supply has what you need to make your home more comfortable. Hometown Supply has electric and kerosene heaters, and they sell kerosene fuel too. From plumbing supplies to paint, batteries to tires, cold weather can kill that old car battery, so Hometown Supply is loaded up with just about every size battery for almost every size car. And Hometown Supply has a great selection of new and recap tires. If you can't do business here, you just can't do business. Central Fellowship lead of 19, 54-35 as we start the final eight minutes of the 6AA title game here in Macon, Lancer basketball from the near sideline. If Trinity's going to make a move, got to make it in a hurry. Been losing ground since the early second quarter. Trinity has scored only 18, 12 in the second, and only six in the third. And that's how this one has gotten a little bit out of hand here. Lancer start it with Goodrum and Demery up top. They lob it back and forth on the volleyball match and come to the corner. Stella pokes it inside, right block Walls. And his shot is walled off and knocked off of his hand out of bounds by Hayden Clay. Trinity leader in blocks this season with 35. Anthony Frank Woji with 21. And those two had a really good game last Friday versus Central. Drive for Williams, ball stripped from his hands. Goodrum picks it up, shoots it down the floor for CFCA, but Demery can't handle it. And it's OB back to the Crusaders with 7.15 left. 54-35 deficit. The two Trinity bigs in the last one versus Central Fellowship combined for 27 points and 26 rebounds. Crusaders fed them all night and got some results there. Tonight, have not been able to find as much of an edge here. George drives inside for the right-hand runner. Connects on this one. So we get some points back for Trinity. It's 54-37. Central Fellowship in front. Demery right wing. Floats it over for Walls. Up against the sideline on a four-out set. Goodrum shoots it across right short corner. Stella's skip back up top for Nelson. Swinging around to the left. Goodrum catch and shoot from the corner. Three horseshoes out. Play left-hand board. And the Trinity ball on the outlet to George in the middle. A deficit, 54-37, uh, Georgia drive, weaves it out for Williams. Pump fake, gets Goodrum to go, backs up for the long two and misses short. Walls the board, travel ball teammate of Williams's. Lancers go right side to Nelson, probes the right, sprays it over to the corner. Nelson gives up on a hot air balloon pass to Walls left. Skip it back right and swing it to an open Stella. He puts it on the floor, drives baseline, shoots it to the left and off the hands of his teammate. 
and off of Ben CP's right hand out of bounds to CFCA. 15 to shoot. They try that same catch and shoot for Goodrum. He's met in midair and hammered by Coleman. And that's kind of one of those plays where if you're going to beat me, it's not going to be on that. Kind of like playing some DB. I'll take that pass interference call before I'll take the 60-yard touchdown. And Goodrum had a few of those against the Crusaders back in football season. The foul is Coleman's second personal, team's first here in the four. Central Fellowship, the back-to-back-to-back -to -back -to -back state football champions. The padding falls off the bottom right side of the goal. That's not good. And we're going to have a short delay here as they figure out what to do with that. Good from waiting to shoot the second foul shot at 5.57. Tradition is important here in Dublin and Lawrence County, and we have the tradition of the St. Patrick's Festival. So go out and support each vendor at the St. Patrick's Festival. Also, tradition is important here at A Plus Flooring and Construction. We provide quality people with quality service. Come shop with us. We have tile, LVP, carpet, vinyl, metal roofs, as well as vinyl siding. So come shop with us at 371 Georgia Highway 338, or give us a call at 478. 676-2662. Look forward to doing business with you. Progressive Rural Telephone Co-op offers a full range of communication products and services to its members in Lawrence County and surrounding areas. We take pride in being your total communications provider and we work hard to provide quality services at the best prices. In addition to offering phone service, we provide high-speed internet and digital high-def TV. And we always strive to put our members first. Progressive Rule, your total communications company. Small enough to know you, large enough to serve you. ProgressiveTel.com. Call 478-984-4201 or stop by 890 Simpson Avenue in Rents. Progressive Rule Telephone Co-op. So that padding taped back up. Hopefully the jerry rigging will keep it in place for the rest of the night anyway before they can give it some closer attention. Jalen Goodrum, after about a four minute, five minute stoppage, will take his next free throw. He made the first one. It is on the way and it misses short. So. The layoff got the best of him there. Trinity rebound, Clay, outlet George, and the Crusaders come right to left with a George screen, a Coleman screen up top. Demery took it away from him on the CFCA steal, missed the jam on the right hand. Tomahawk on the other end, but got his own rebound and puts that one back in on a soft lay-in on the right side. 57-37 CFCA. Hit check foul on Demery as he guards Trinity's George. That'll be his second in the team's fourth. Excuse me, team's second. Trinity inbound. Right in front of the near sideline. George finds the lane, drives down there, skips it around a Jeb Wall charge attempt. And Hayden Clay puts it in the bucket from the right side, 57-39. Some light pressure at midcourt for Trinity as CFCA advances it over on a pass to Therese Demery left sideline. Drive Nelson, shoots it across right side. Catch Stella in the corner. White and green shoes, shifting across left. Nelson the drive, pins the ball to his hip, gets it up there on the step through and misses left. Rebound Trinity, Williams coast to coast. Juggles the ball at the basket. And look at Jalen Goodman on a poster with that right side make. 57-41 Central Fellowship. And George and Goodrum get tangled up, headed the other way. Foul on George. Blocking foul on George, his third, and the team's second. 4.43 left in quarter four, 57-41 Central. Trinity a 4-0 run. Williams playing with four fouls as well. Keep an eye on that. Demery brings it out of the backcourt for Central. Skips walls, headed to the right elbow, stops with the left foot pivot, gets back top. Demery throws in, lob to Walsh, cuts in there, and scores easily. 
First points of the fourth quarter for the senior. And the lead 59-41 for Central Fellowship. 18-point edge. Cross-arm screen from Coleman. George Wright can't go anywhere with it. Gives to CP. Exchange back his way at the top. Williams left corner. Coleman sets the screen again. Drop it to him on the pick and roll. Sends up a 16-footer and rattles it in from straight away. Under four. Central 59, Trinity 43. Attacking bucket Nelson finishes from straight away and answers it to make it 61-43. CP breaks open on the other end. He gets one from the left-hand side for the first bucket of the night. And the lead down to 61-45. And Coleman wraps around the waist of Goodrum on the midcourt catch off the inbound. Another Trinity foul, his fourth, team's third. Foul on Coleman, Lancers basketball. Central Fellowship basketball with 3.41 to go in the title game. And they are cruising here to what looks like it's going to be overall win number 25 and region win number 8. Only loss to a team out of North Florida. Otherwise, perfection for the Lancers who were perfect on the gridiron too. Claim that double-A state football title with several of these same guys. Nelson, the freshman, drives in, corkscrews left. Counterclockwise, spin to score with the right-hander. Nelson's got 10, and CFCA leads to 63-45. George three from straight up top, falls to the floor as Stella hits him. And misses the three short, but will go to the line for that many shots. As Stella picks up foul number two, Central's third. 317 left to go. George's shot on the way. First one is a swisher. He's the leading Trinity scorer tonight with 14. Henry Williams has been held to only eight. Foul trouble to begin with tonight for him. Second shot misses for George. Here is the third. That is all net. And the CFCA lead cut down to 63-47. 3.16 to go. Trinity foul on the inbound. Ref explained something about the clock to the operator. No foul. Shooting in far side, CFCA. Goodrum splits the trap. And just kind of toys with some defenders here. Athletic moves left and right. Skips low. There's Nelson. Attacks the bucket and slides it in there. CFCA 65, Trinity 47. Under three to play. Williams top. Drive left around the Coleman screen. Goodrum all over him. Some equipment sprays to the right. And the ball finds Coleman for the right side shot. Banks it in there and draws a foul. Mouthpiece came from the chops of Goodrum. There as he hugged Williams on the defense, or maybe just a bandage on his right finger. Splitting those ring and middle fingers on the right hand. Coleman's in one, rattles home in the three-point play. Puts Trinity down only 15, 65-50, with two and a half to go. Floating pass, far side. Here in the fourth quarter for CFCA, Goodrum and Demery up top. Red, black, and green shoes for Demery. One of two talented freshmen on this team. Left foot pivot, skip left, Goodrum. Down low walls, catches, shoots from the corner, and his three burns his way in there. 68-50, lead back to 18 for Central. And 2.15 to go. Hand off. George Williams, left short corner, six up a 16-footer, misses short. Wall scrapes up the read for Central. Baseballs it out. Goodrum catch. Numbers briefly, but Goodrum slows it down with two to go. 68-50 lead for Central Fellowship. Heads to the left corner. Demery tries the three and swishes it. And that will be the whipped cream on top of the Sunday tonight here for Central Fellowship. 71-50 their lead with 1.43 to go. And the region title drought going to go one year longer for the Crusaders. 
Running shot for Ben CP from the left elbow. No good. Rebound central. They fire it up. Got numbers to the hole and missed throw the lob. Demery leaping high, missed it. But Trinity could not get the loose ball underneath. Skip it low, Stella slips it in there with the right hand. He's got nine on the game, 70 seconds to play. And a 23 point gap for Trinity George with a minute left. The screen from Coleman. Pick and roll intercepted. Demery, left side, tries to jam it again, and it's in and out. That might take down that padding if you're not careful. Left side three, Trinity, on the return to the other end. Williams sinks that one. 20 point game again, 73-53. And under 50 left to go. Last Trinity region title, 1989. That team was state runner up in 4AA, led by a bunch of all time legends. Also the last team, or one of the last two teams, only other of three, who won 20 in a season. Trinity 21 and five this year, and five and two, as we finish up the region tournament tonight. Goodrum bleeding some clock, hits a three from the top at the end of the shot clock. And that'll take him to 18 on the night, 76-53 Central Fellowship. Five to go, George Force one up, triple on the right, no. And that is your ball game. Central Fellowship runs away with it in the second half. Led through the second quarter on. And this one in their final is 76-53. They'll cut the Nets down in their home gym. Here tonight, second straight region title for CFCA after they won it last year in their division of the Gaps. And Go almost wire to wire in the regular season here, 25 and one. The end of tournament record for them, 8-0 finish in the region, and they will go in as the number one seed.